one of trend now in Indonesia. Many youth they use this and they don't use uh, the plastic pipe. And I think uh, I think student the committee they know that this is trend now in Indonesia. And then no plastic bag. Yes, of course we don't. Uh, it's better for us not to use plastic bag. And for information, plastic pipe or plastic straw in Indonesia, uh, 90 million are used by Indonesian each day. Each day, 90 million. So it's also a really big problem. So they could give some financial support to release our first movement four years ago. And after four years, until now, today we have already distributed more than 3,000 premium tumblers to some children, some people in, in Lampung, especially. The number is close to 4,000, but it's around 3,800. Why? What do you think? Why tumblers become our movement actually in Lampung? You know? Reduce plastic use. Yeah, at least to reduce our uh, plastic use, but our plastic at least, yeah. Later on, I will try to explain. They consume a lot of water compared to adults because they do physical things more than us, yeah. They like running, playing games, and many other activities, so that's why they consume a lot of water compared to We do that problem actually. And now we come to the impact. To the impact. What is the impact of marine debris, uh, especially for the ecosystem, plastic bottles, and plastic bags, yeah. And then this is the first one for ecosystem, and the second one, the impact of life. So it is the impact also for wildlife. See turtles, yeah, the next one, yeah, you see, that is the next picture. Uh, this cat, this bird assumed that to, to solve this problem as an individual, not as an individual, uh, a country or institution, because country they have their own job to solve this problem. But as an individual, what should we do? Just a simple statement that you already heard for many times since long time ago. Education. So, uh, since we are growing even not really fast, but there are some people that may already notice that we are here. We concern on the education of the environment. So that's why some universities in Lampung they already find and because I know that uh, the plastic problem is actually an issue, important issue here more than uh, elsewhere. So, okay. So, so it, this is the first time for you, yeah. And you, yeah. you want to know more. You want to see the rate situation happening in Indonesia. Any other? Anyone? For me, is I uh, traveled a lot through Southeast Asia yes, yeah. already, and I like saw there was a big problem with waste and plastic, and I chose Indonesia because I because I visited the country before and I know that the people are really welcoming and open and helpful yes. and supportive so if I thought okay if I go somewhere um, it really helps if the people are so welcoming so yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. any other anyone yes great experience for me if I discovered the Asian culture and also uh, on the project I really like the concept of the project in Indonesia as uh, an environmentalist so that's why I basically I chose it is Indonesia. It's like the biggest provider from Indonesia. Uh, they invited us to be a part of a video that talks about the plastic movement. So next, step. and and this country is located here, everyone, called Nauru. You can read on your Google, yeah. Uh, Nauru becomes the most uh, the richest country on earth in 1970, and the population only like five five thousand. It's very small country, but now. This country becomes the poorest countries. Now, some plastic bag made from corn, for example, new invention by the people. Or you will, you maybe you see, or you read, there is an invention uh, plate which are made from something that is eatable, for example. But why people do uh, from 300 years into 1,000 years, even 1 billion years, yeah, for, for uh, glass, for example, but for plastic, when, when, yeah, let's say, yeah, because this is different. Uh, references sometimes from 100 to 1000, but that is not really the point. But the point is the newest information, the newest uh, research. Uh, you will have like more listening, everyone, but tomorrow we will have more practicing. And then I think when plastic bag, yeah. Australia pay for plastic bag, South Africa straight rule of using plastic bag, and then Hong Kong, you see, they use the plastic bag, and Denmark, expensive price for plastic bag. So, Indonesia, yeah. what about Indonesia? Is, it, is there any wrong? No? Uh, yeah. The minister already made some policies uh, and also the president to solve this problem. We also, a few years ago we had to buy some plastic which is expensive, but regulation is just regulation or policy is just policy because I think the problem is not from the government, the problem is from the people because we have like...
discussion about unorganic and organic, what should you do? What is the solution from your opinion? Or maybe it's like a representative from your country. What is the solution to solve this problem? Especially, actually it is a problem in Indonesia. So we want to know more. We would like to take you, throw back to the situation in Indonesia. Maybe you have the same condition in your country, especially for developed countries, maybe like 15 or 60 years ago. We have the same condition like our country, maybe, yeah? So that's why we need your opinion uh, or your suggestion. What should we do? Start from now and for how long? For how long? Because I noticed like in Indonesia there are a lot of good laws, like but it's not practical. I mean people break the laws, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think uh, if they apply like uh, some fees, for example in Indonesia, the, the one who like throws uh, a trash bag, he gets like 15 uh, days of community service. So it, it cannot be uh, like paying money because uh, it can be like really hard at first, but it can be community service. For example, like if you uh, do something, you can uh, clean more or have some uh, days to, as a community service. So also teaching people how to recycle their waste by their own. For example, like there is uh, glass crafting. Like I hear it's, uh, it's very important, right? First, uh, um, separating it at home and then um, uh, having maybe different colored bins. I think every group came up with that. So, uh, because that's very common in Europe and it's very easy to do. And we also said maybe if you uh, don't want to buy like a lot of different colors of bins, maybe they could solve it with just a different pickup time. So you collect the trash in the, um, in the same color bins, but um, it's picked up on a different time by the government. And for example, if people get confused uh, with what is picked up when or something, they can just put uh, it outside and then the government just picks up what is correct and then uh, leave like the rest. And then um, we thought maybe the government can provide like free bags for the organic waste or the unorganic waste, so people are really incentivized to separate. Um, and then we thought we should work with rewards because, and not with so much with punishment, because with punishment, the difficulty is that people always try to find a loophole and try to avoid the punishment. Yeah. But if you give rewards, they really want to work towards the separation, and we thought maybe they can work with supermarkets, um, like in collaboration with supermarkets that they return, um, you could have like collect plastic collection stations with at the supermarket and if you go there and put in your plastic then you get like a discount for your shopping or like vouchers or even cash back uh, which could be possible. I know in uh, Germany we have this great bottle recycling um, system where you pay, just pay a few cents extra for uh, if you buy like a bottle of drink and if you return the bottle into the machine it beats the barcode and then you get like money back. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's um, I think also a great way. Um, then provide paper bag at the supermarket or rewards bringing your own bag. For example, with like a small discount, 2%, that can already be a lot of you doing a big shopping. Um, or bring your own containers to buy fish for meat. Uh, because um, uh, that's already being done in some countries. Um, then we thought about creating like applications that track your waste <coughs> management habits and then have information about different products and how long it takes for products to degrade and also how to correctly dispose of those products. Um, and then, uh, so we go over to, because that's also related to creating awareness and education. So that's obviously such an important part as well because you don't um, you also you don't have to 
we also have to educate the people um, about the effects of the different uh, sort of waste on the environment and on, uh, on their health. I think a lot of people don't realize that they put something in the environment that also in long term affects their own health. Um, so let's start, of course, with schools, but also like advertising posters. And we thought maybe a fun way to do it is to put on products, to put like pictures where it says, oh, this degrades in, in 1,000 years, so don't throw me in the environment or something like that. And um, on the banana, you can be like, oh, this is, uh, I am organic or something like that. So maybe also do it in a fun way for children to understand what to do with the different products they're buying. Yeah, that was already a long story. <laughs>